everybody. All the day's finally here. I forgot to do some videotaping yesterday. I went up and uh, got that second transmission. Got my hands on some uh, tranny cooler flush. Finally found some. And I'm bad. I didn't show doing the flushing on the lines. I've flushed them, wiped them down, put my plugs on them to keep the dirt out. You should have seen the nasty stuff come out of there. And hopefully I don't eat my shoe because I ended up putting it all across the toe, the toe of my shoe too. Darn lines. But uh, yep, I'm getting ready to get under there. Fish training lines through, get them hooked back up. And then we're ready to position the lift here. Then slide old Bertha here under there, get it up on. And uh, I got to undo some wires that we zip tied up so they wouldn't get chewed up by the dog and that. And we're going to start throwing the parts back into this truck back on her. So, time is that time. I ain't got my glasses and I forgot them today. 10 20. And it's Saturday. So, we're going to see if we can have this truck moving by tonight. Well, actually, last time we put this in, and there was two of us, we had it in in a couple hours, so. Uh, oh, shh. Well, I forgot. I need green, green antifreeze since I didn't completely empty this, empty this, and I don't know what was in there, so. Now, we'll worry about that later. I think I might have some, actually, so. All right, well, I'm going to get under there, get these training lines fished through, and get the training cooler all remounted and we'll be ready to start lifting the transmission. <laughs> Alright guys, it might get a little long here, but we're gonna try and get that before it's going up. So as far as I know I got the camera where it should be bugged. Hopefully you guys can see all this. Um, I really don't want to. Okay, Roger. Let's go over to the other side, dude. And if you want, pull that brown carpet out, put it over there for you to lay on. trying to hold the torque converter in I know this is... stay there oh Slide this thing up to it, Roger. Oh shit. Keep around. Okay, bring it up to it a little more. I didn't know. Okay. Try and balance it so it don't fall down in there this time. Pull it towards you, the back end. Oh. Okay. Woohoo! All right, guys. I think that was the hardest part. Okay, look out! I gotta slide the whole thing towards you. Okay. Slide it back just a little more. Okay. Now I'll grab the jack itself and we'll slide it forward. Oh, okay. 
go that way a little bit. Woo! Ouch, my arm. Okay, I'm gonna hook this up before I forget it this time. Good. Like all this stuff go. Yeah, I gotta start plugging in as we go, so. I leave it. Tube is right there. Look at that, guys. She's going up. Okay. Whew. Her is back. Just making sure everything goes up the way it's supposed to. So I don't want to. Okay. Up. Can you divide it on this side over here? Well, some of those I can. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There's two more on this side over here. Yep. I don't know if Okay. We gotta go. Yeah, but the whole thing a little more. What? Slide the whole thing forward. Okay. Actually, we gotta come back my way just. Right, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah. that looks better. <laughs> I said, do we have to go your way? Yeah, so I didn't catch it. I'm kind of excited about this thing working like it is. Okay, don't you dare fall down. I found our first design change. Might have to cut those bars off a little because they get in, put the exhaust in here, they get in the way. Oops. Just making sure. All these wires will go on top. They just should be laying back there. The ones I'm worried about is up here. You can't pitch them. Get the 
dipstick tube fed in. Ooh, ooh. Oh, shit. Oh. I was busting my light. I like it. There. Wires all look like they're above and not in between. I mean, up by the motor there, bud. Look at TV. Well, I gotta get out and push a dipstick to the down. It's like it's lighting in like it's supposed to. Hmm, that might be easier said than done. Well, guys, I'm going to. Uh, we got the. Uh, it's gone. And actually, I'll reposition you here in a second. Excuse me, so I'll have you back in a millisec. Oh, well, guys, we had to uh, put the jack under the motor. Oops, let me get. Oh, dang it. We had to put a jack under the motor. And look at how it just closed up there. The only thing is, I got some wires here I got to fish out, but. Uh, this is working so, so much better than the last time I put the tranny in this thing. But uh, I got some wires to fish out and then we can put the bolts in and yeah. I think these bars right here where I got the light I'm going to have to cut off because they interfere with the exhaust. That's how much it traveled forward. It, it brought it up as soon as we leveled out the motor she just right up so well, I'll get those wires fished out look from behind make sure that nothing's pinched I don't think it is it all rode over and we can start throwing bolts in this thing yay but nope that little strat that is working just perfect I don't know what I got you aimed at but uh, let's see We'll get it shed a little light so see I mean it's got the room and it's got the length. I know well it's let's see. Oh she's solid, it's not wiggling. So alright, well we'll get the putting get the wires straightened out and uh, get to put bolts in and get this truck together. Well guys that transmission thing works slick as snot. We had to lift up on the motor a little, but we got her. I'm just getting the fluid dumped out of the transfer case so I don't wear that. I'm ready for the transfer case. Got all the fuel line brackets and wiring brackets, everything done from underneath. The last guy I had helped me. It's warping down, you gotta crawl on top of the motor to do it. No, you don't. Oops, sorry. Uh, so everything's done. All the bolts on. Oh, I gotta do that. I gotta get the heat shield on there. And uh, I gotta put the starter in, and then I'm gonna put the training lines on. And like I said, right now I'm getting ready to put the transfer case up in there, which is a mother trucker. <laughs> I said trucker, not. Mm. <laughs> but, yep, once we lifted that motor up, I mean, it was just whoosh, boom. As I pushed up, it even slid right on the pins. I mean, I haven't put a transmission in so easy. I just, wow, nice, very nice. So, oh yeah, I went, called one place. They wanted $106 for the fluid for this thing, or uh, $5 quart. Went to the local convenience store, bought all 12 quarts uh, for 30 bucks. They were two something a quart, so hey. Big savings. But, uh, yep, I'm just 
taking a breather for a second and here is the time as of now and what's uh it's uh 1 12 40 so and i think we started at 10 20 so not bad for a couple of guys i mean i can't wait to see what that looked like lifting the transmission up all i know is my arm hurt after that then we couldn't get the dipstick tube to go in. Had to smear a little Vaseline on that to get it to go in. Nah, get your mind out of the gutter, guys. No, no. <laughs> so, once we get that done, then I'll put the tranny cooler on. Just letting that evaporate a little more. Blew it out, man. You should have seen the black stuff come out of that. Even though I drained it all, I flushed it. Oh, yeah. Here's that stuff. Um, let's see. There it is. That's what I used. And flushed it out so lines were pretty clean I dripped their eye them I hung them so that everything drung down and a little bit come out of them but I guess somebody if you want to jump through the computer uh, you can put this transfer case in <laughs> so well I'm gonna get ready and get that transfer case up in because the wife called and she wants to go do something tonight so all right uh, well and get back to work. Well, lucky there, we're on the ground. We're getting ready. Got the funnel in. Got the fluid. Yep, turns over. So that other starter head finally died. So now I'm getting ready to start filling her up with fluid. So I can start her and get her going. So, oh yeah. Uh, what time is it? Where's my watch? Where is my watch? It is now. Oh, here it is. It is now. 3.53 it looks like. I ain't got my glasses on, so. Uh, not bad. Oh, 2.53? Told you I ain't got my glass. <laughs> yep, he's right. 2.53. Jeez. Need my glasses. Yeah, well, if I get a good luck here. My eyes are full of dirt. I thought I had all the dirt rattled off this truck, but. Well, transfer case, everything's in, hooked up. Uh, we're going to get some fluid in it and see what happens. I want to start it, get the fluid going through it, and make sure there's no leaks before I put the whole front end back together and have to tear it apart. So, all right. This makes me happy. We're filling it up with antifreeze, and uh, my radiator, repaired radiator, is leaking. So now we're trying to drain it all and catch it all again because I just put brand new antifreeze in here. God bless it. Some of it is leaking on the driver's side. That I don't know. I mean, here we are, so close to having this. Uh, Anyway, alright. Well, guys, I guess it just ain't gonna happen today. That, that damn radiator. That's an hour drive, too, to have the shit done. Paid the guy a hundred bucks for it, and fucker's leaking right there. He replaced this tank and that, and it's leaking down there. Thought I had it. I found a couple of tabs that wasn't bent down, bent them down, and so something's wrong. So yeah, I can't even find out. My only other option is is get two cans of that tranny flush, flush out the old original one. I guess if it comes out clean, that's what I was told. I'd rather put a new radiator in, but uh, yeah. I mean the trucks together, dry shaft, everything's in. I think I'm going to get an oil squirter can to fill the transfer case with. Yeah, I know that's going to be a lot of squeezing sitting there. But that's the only way everyone get that filled. So, I guess with that, I'm going to quit before I get completely frustrated. And uh, Sad thing is, where I live, there's no real... The radiator repair shops that used to be around here, they've closed their doors. So, but anyway... Uh, working out right I can't even remember if these two went to this truck or not 
Well, I can't because all I got left to do underneath the trucks is front drive shaft, and I've got an extra set of clamps. Oh, yeah, from the wreck truck. Okay. I was like, why do I have, I do, I have two extra, uh, an extra set of clamps. I need the front and rear. Yeah, one extra. So there's the, those, and that held something. God, I don't remember now. I hate taking stuff apart and having to wait so long to put it together, but. Yep, this starter is evidently toast. It didn't work. That's a spare. Whoa, come on, stay up there. So, yeah, I don't know. I want this truck going. Um, at the same time, I don't want to ruin the damn thing. I don't, well, I, I say I don't want to do it again, but I got to do the, all this ripping and tearing and all that one more time. I think I. The other truck sitting outside. So, yeah. I don't want to put the front end on until I know that don't leak. But I guess it is to the point where if I absolutely have to, I now can roll it outside and uh, get something else in here to work on. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Get another can of that stuff and try it after all and flush it I know I ain't got I've got uh, what do I got one two three four five six seven quarts of fluid in it now and I can't even turn it over to there's uh, a least spraying fluid everywhere and you know, on engine oil so boy we got close just because somebody forgot to do something or something there. God dang it. Well, I guess that can of tranny cleaner wasn't quite enough. It did push some shit out, so I don't know. I guess back flush it. I've seen other guys do it on YouTube. I guess that's what we might try. I want this truck moving this weekend. I mean, it is the original radiator to the truck. And as bad as the training come apart, the big chunks, I mean, that, they're, they're not going to be up in there, but, uh... Oh, well, well, because I want to use this truck to go get... Oh, I almost slipped up and said what I was going to go get. I haven't said yet, have I? Yeah, I want to get this going and get some mileage on it before I hook onto the trailer. So, all right, well, we'll catch you guys all later.